What you looking for? Floss. Dino floss. I got some in my bag in there. I'm trying. I'm trying to trying to do the video. I'm dead now. Okay. What is up, everybody? Video addict here, and I've got a package from Nightcore. So I got an email from Nightcore and they wanted to send me a small item to review. I'm not one to say no because I love reviewing stuff. I like doing this. This is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. I want people, I want these companies to say, hey, video editor, review our stuff. Okay, I will do it. Send it to me. I did it. I like it. I did it. All right. I don't know what it is. They they sh they sent me a a thing, but this was like a long time ago. It just I like I said I've been so busy I haven't had time to do a lot of stuff. But I wanted to get something knocked out. We're probably gonna do this in a couple phases because it's obviously daylight outside, so lights are hard to show exactly what they do whenever it's daylight outside. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little opening and then we'll do some test after dark. All right, all right. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, this is the Nightcore Tip SE, a 700 lumen light. Let's see what it says. Features, utilizing 2X Osram P8 LEDs with a max output of 700 lumens. Built-in 500 milliamp lithium-ion battery provides a max runtime of 50 hours. That's awesome. Dual side switches controls four brightness levels. USB-C charging port, which is awesome. Uh, two user modes available. Power indicating functions. Uh, patent, blah, blah, blah. Advanced temperature, temperature regulation. All that stuff. Uh, nightcore.com n-i-t-e-c-o-r-e.com uh, this is pretty cool man it looks bad to the bone whoa they have like a little test you can test it see it says try try and they have this little window up here watch this bam that's bright that is a bright little light inside of there let's see what this is what kind of light is it? It looks kind of like a like a hat light or something. That's brighter than any other hat light I got. 700 lumens. The Tip SE. I'm excited. Oh, nice. A little key ring clip. And a little mini key ring. Different ways and a little mini mini key ring. You have like three different key rings. You have the clip-on style, you have a regular little key ring, and a baby key ring. Just however you choose to use it. Oh, it is a, it is a cap light. You have a little lanyard spot there on the bottom. Bam. You got your clip here, which appears to be removable. Yep, so you could just use it as a pocket light. I wonder if there's a lockout feature keep you from coming on in your light in your pocket so your USB-C charging port is right here and whenever you put the clip on it covers the port so that's pretty cool nothing that would really make it waterproof or nothing but anyway, it's whatever uh all right so power on bam now let's see what is this oh you got like a little moonlight mode brighter mode brighter mode moonlight so three brightness levels. The moonlight mode is pretty cool. Very nice little switches, man. Rubberized, uh, very nice little quiet click. Nothing major. So like me, whenever I use it hunting and whatnot, I don't have to worry about it. 
I like it. It's super light. Super, super light. When the light is on, press and hold down the mode selection button to activate turbo mode. Let's try that out. Bam. Dude, that's, that's the thing. But it's only while you hold down the button. So it's only a temporary turbo. So you got it on. Let me, take, let me go to a brighter level. So there, that's the brightest setting. But whenever you want turbo, you hold it down. Bam. So, but it's only on while you hold it down. I like that for those moments whenever you just need, like, wait, what was that? Okay, but you don't want to overdo it. I like it. If you want to go straight into the low mode, you just hold on the you hold the power button when, right there. When you turn it off, it comes back on in the same mode that you left it in. So if you're off and you want to come back in the low mode, like you don't want to just blow up light everywhere, you just hold it down and it comes back on in your little moonlight mode. I like that. That's actually really cool. So you ain't got to like. See, when I'm hunting, I'll have this up here and I have to like cover it up and then switch it down to a lower mode. So that's actually a really cool feature to have on there. I don't know why you would have this on other than for your display purposes. Like if people come through and they try it out and they leave it on. But there's a mode that you can do and it's like, It'll stay on for 30 seconds. Let's just try it out. How y'all doing? I've been good. Busy. See, it went off. That's because it's still in the the box thing. Because they don't want people coming up and hitting it and then the battery running out, you know, and then nobody else gets to try it out. So what you do to fix that is press and hold the two buttons at the same time for three seconds. All right, it did a little double flash thing, so now it should stay on indefinitely. One, two, three, four, five. You know, it's just, it's one of those things. It's just like, I got a lot going on, you know. I've been packing, I've been like running around, I had to go unload trailers. My tractor that I just bought has been broken. Like, it's been in the dang shop more than it's been like with me. So therefore, I've, I've been very upset about it and finally John Deere just said screw it give him a new tractor so they gave me a new tractor and I'm pretty excited about it so I got my new tractor back today I had to go deal with that went and did some work at our new shop put a bunch of my stuff over there to store it so it can be there until I get done building a house and I'm pretty sure that this means that this light is now set to always on <laughs> so if you want to switch it back to where it'll go off after 30 seconds, you can just hold those two buttons again and it will set back to the daily mode. I am super excited about this. We're going to do a little bit of like nighttime showing of it so you'll be able to see exactly how good it is at night, how bright it is. And I'm going to go ahead and charge this up and we'll do some testing later. I love that it's USB-C, by the way. That's really, really awesome. Um, all right. So I guess we'll see you when it's dark. All right. Once again, the tip SE. We're going to do a little test in here. This is my new shop. Don't judge. It's new shop. We've just emptied out three, three different shops into one. So I'm going to clip this bad boy on my hat. We'll see. What kind of what kind of vision we get in the dark? Where's the light switch? Is there a light switch? Where's the damn light switch? Is this the light switch? Nope, that's this light switch. Where is the light switch? I don't know. I told y'all this is new. See, look at all this. <laughs> this a lot of this was in my garage and. That's my sister's stuff. And then that's all the stuff from my house right there. My bed, all my gear and whatnot. 
and then all that stuff over there. So this is my house. Anyway, is this it? Bam, look at that. Let's kick this door closed. We're gonna get in the dark here, people. I wanna see it. I wanna see just how good this thing is. It's a pretty good lumen thing, so let's check it out. Bam, that's the low setting. All right, that's just moonlight mode, which is good. It's pinpoint, I like that. Bam, holy crap. Between the first and the second is a whole nother level of brightness. Now let's go to the third one. Bam! That is bad to the bone. Look at that. But man, I'm telling you, this tip SE. All right, that's your low. You know, that's enough to get you to the stand. You know, you don't want to blare out the whole woods. And then, bam, that's pr that's really decent right there. And then that's really good. For this little bitty of light, I mean, that's just awesome. Moonlight. See, I can see the ground. I can see where I'm going. I'm not scaring too many animals, I don't think. Second setting. That's just, that's good. And third. Hmm. Yeah. All right, it's hot in here. So yeah, as you see, I was set up today and Chris is coming in while I'm making my videos. Hey babe. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. She probably thinks I'm like upset or something. Nope. Olight, obviously, it's a whole nother price range. You know, you got to think about that too. And this little bad boy, I love it. It's real simple, real compact. It's made from like an aluminum body. So it's not just like a piece of plastic. Like I, I just know this thing feels sturdy. I like the little clip on the end there. There's your little button system, the tip SE. See, we're painting. This is our new, this is our new location. There's gonna be a big circle with a pipe going through it with a line through it. Oh, I guess I could just show you. It's gonna look like that. Who are you gonna call? That's what that's gonna be up there. It's gonna be big. We're expanding, people. We're getting big. <laughs> Gotta do something. A damn YouTube sure as hell ain't paying nobody nothing. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the description below. So go check it out. And I hope you enjoy because I am enjoying it, no doubt. All right, that's it. I'm out.